The third part three lies in this lies. The ten people I want to see in concert. Top ten. Prince, Bruno Mars, Nick Jonas, Bon Jovi, Aerosmith, Dolly Parton, Bette Midler, Olivia Newton-John, and Celine Dion. The ten worst singers, all music genres, ever. Number one, no one will ever beat her. Alison Krauts. No one can have a voice that bad. For crying out loud, she even yodels. Stupid. Casey Musgraves. She's a very close second, though, and I mean extremely close. But again, no one will ever top Alison Krauts. Culture Club. Selena, Selena O'Connor. Sinead O'Connor. Blake Shelton. Yes, he made that list. Sorry, guys. And I actually had a couple of responses. How could Blake Shelton be on that list? One person actually knew that answer, and here's that answer. It's very simple. He maybe would have been in my top 30, because I've never been that much. I'm not much a fan on country anyways. And I ain't really that much on Blake Shelton. And he is my least favorite coach on The Voice, because I kind of think he thinks he's better than everybody else on The Voice, which he's not. Adam Levine's the best. Go Adam. Okay, but... He got on that top by a little song that said, Cheetabaka, Cheetabaka, Spit. And that is why he's on my top ten. That is the absolute worst song ever in existence. It's even worse than any song that Alison Krauss has ever sung. That song is just plain outright stupid. So that is why Blake Shelton is number five on my list. Blake, if you see this, you may have been in my top 30, but you come off that song. Number six, the reason why I did not go to the George Strait final tour when he was in Louisville is this guy right here, Vince Gill. I did not want to sit through hearing his not-so-good voice the whole concert. Number seven, I actually saw her in concert because she's with Chris Young and Brad Paisley. But Danielle Bradbury, she should have never won. Swan Brothers should have won that season, not Danielle Bradbury. Falco is probably the second worst song that ever was into existence. And the only song that I really ever knew of them, and that was Amadeus. And if you have never heard that song, it's out in the 80s, YouTube it. And you can't even hear, I you can't understand a word it says except for Rock Me Amadeus. And the rest of it is in some language. I don't even know what kind of language it's in, but it, it's stupid. So just listen to it. It's called Amadeus by Falco. Any opera, it all sucks, trust me. And any classical, it all sucks too. And now, for my top ten country singers. Now, we're talking to a person that prefers rock or pop, but I do actually like some country. And I like more than what's on this list, but this is my top ten. Dolly Parton, number one, first and foremost. I actually got a chance to go to Dollywood. And I actually met her sister, and I think one or two of her brothers, but it was not Dolly Parton, so doesn't count. I want to see Dolly Parton badly. KT Oslin didn't sing much, but what she did was excellent. Tanya Tucker, Lady Antebellum, got to see them a concert recently, Lady A, awesome. Gretchen Wilson, John Anderson. My favorite song growing up was just swinging, and he sings it. Hank Williams Jr., Reba McIntyre, and George Drake. And now, coming up here in just very shortly, is part four of this. <laughs> 